the ones that are interested in Android, I'm going to make a short demo of what we have at the moment. Um, So yeah, um, I said before I started last year as a Google Summer of Code, porting the um, Quantum GIS desktop straight to Android. And uh, what I'm gonna show you now, it's basically this. Uh, it's the latest trunk, so maybe like three hours ago. So I always keep it up to date. So everything that is in trunk, it's in, uh, Android as well, and I try to push as much as possible back to to Jurgen or to team that accept or not my pull requests. So that basically, if you build, uh, if you take trunk now and you build it with a cross compiler, it actually will kind of work. You just need all the wrapper scripts that are hosted on uh, QJS GitHub as well. So. What we have is a fully functional QGIS. The only missing feature, which I'm working on right now with Martin, is try to get uh, Python to work. Um, the main problem is PyQt, which doesn't exist for Android, so we are looking into it, crossing our fingers. Everything else uh, more or less works. Can you check the focus on the thing? Yeah, but the camera has no focus. Oh. I can move it a bit. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't have. Yes. Um, <coughs> can you kind of no, see? No, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there is a raster there. <laughs> the, what you're seeing now is this VMS local rasters, VFS, um, there are kind of lines that you don't really see because of the focus, but to support spatial, uh, spatial light, uh, supports uh, shape files, uh, basically everything. Uh, the only thing that is not supported yet is uh, PostKeys connection over SSL. So PostKeys works, no problem. Uh, SSL is the only, I didn't manage to compile SSL yet, but I just found an SSL for Android, so probably I just have to drop replace it and maybe the next version will support that as well. So every feature works in that sense. Every provider works um, as well. C++ plugins works. Like for example, let me show you this one, which is another one that I did. Yeah, you see why I was saying about the yellow things, about the log. Uh, where did you go? Here. Yeah. So this is a small plugin that I wrote that shows you a compass. The idea is to extend this further to another plugin that takes picture, uh, georeference pictures, where you get location from the GPS bearing where you're looking at from this plugin and then you have your georeference picture directly all of the new tab all these tablets have a camera so it should be pretty easy to go around just take a picture and have a georeference um, then we have uh, uh, oops Log messages, huh? they work on Android as well. GPS <laughs> information. The thing is, since we are indoor, we don't really get GPS signal, so we just say that we are in Lyon, somewhere, and we fake the position. And QGIS will happily show. Oh, sorry. So 
this is kind of uh, was in Switzerland. So you see that more or less it's right. We are lower left than Switzerland. So GPS kind of works as well. GPS tracking works. Uh, we're planning with team to go outside in an hour to make a little video of how it works properly. And uh, you can track lines, you can track points, you can track polygons. Um, you can save them to files. Uh, you can digitize if you have, say, uh, a file. You can put it in edit mode. <coughs> So you can digitize if you have a polygon. So now I'm abusing this thing. So let's Um, then you can use the custom UI forms if you want, they all work as well. You have uh, all the fancy zooming with the pinch, you move by penny, uh, just like you are basically the same movements as you're used from like say Google Maps, as was well, kind of what I used as a reference, you have the pinch and Zoom, you have the two fingers to go out, and you have the double click to go in. The double click as a zoom in is the only one that doesn't work super nicely because you really have to double click in the same spot. Um, yeah, we've got a, probably a summer of code going on that will make a special GUI uh, with much less than this will be probably only capable of uh, digitizing and showing data, reading of course of projects, uh, so that you can take the project and show it on either application, but then with a much more reduced um, functionality. This one is mainly made for this kind of tablets. It works, I have it on my, uh, on a um, four inches, phone it works as well it's a bit harder to to deal with but uh, you can set options you can see you can set the size so now I made it a bit bigger and on the phone you would have to put it down to like four so that uh, it's, uh, it's actually the full GUI gets visible uh, yeah, I think that is more or less basically a fully working GIS on the Android platform. Installation for the end user is not over the market yet. It's um, it's over the QGIS website. So it and it requires basically downloading one package. It's a small installer uh, which uh, asks you. Yes, you can see really well now. Uh, asks you which version you want to download and then it downloads it for you and then the first run is a bit, I mean, I mean, it's not complex. It's a bit more complex than a normal application because we have uh, one other application as a dependency, which is the Qt library manager, but still it's more or less straightforward. You get to install QGI, you get to start QGIS within 10 minutes from when you started with all the downloads and everything. Uh, I guess for such a big application it's not that uh, big of a deal. Yeah, do you have any questions? Yeah? Uh, you were 